Well, I'm all in favour of them being tough and uncompromising. I want a proper Brexit. I want us to leave the European Union heart, soul and mind. I don't want us to have a sort of Brexit where, because they've given us all sorts of baubles, we have stayed in bits that deny us freedom. The key thing is coming up with the trade negotiation now. It is so important that we maintain the flexibility to do deals with other countries, that we're not so bound in by the EU's requirements that we can't get the benefits of cheaper food, clothing and footwear that will flow from setting our own trade relationships. So their being tough may actually push us into um, a clearer Brexit. Can we talk about the transition? Because the government is pretty keen on a transition or implementation. The EU, all the signs are, from the draft negotiating positions, they're going to be really tough. Well, I think the language is really important. Is it an implementation period which the government is asking for, or is it a transition? If it's an implementation period, we have left the EU and we are implementing the consequences. That is to say, it may take time to put in new immigration queues at Heathrow, and until that's done, we're implementing. If it's a transition, we are in fact still in the European Union. If they set our fishing quotas, if new laws coming from the EU affect the UK, if the ECJ still has jurisdiction, it would be untrue to say we had left. It would be an extension of our membership, and if that's what the government should do, wants to do, it should do it under the terms of Article 50 and be honest about it. It would be a deceit to have a transition that kept us in the EU for two years by default. Right. And you wouldn't necessarily be against extending our membership for two years to get everything sorted out, but you want honesty about that if that's what the plan is. Because the EU, by the way, is in no doubt at all. It is extension of membership by another name. Um, I would be opposed to extension of membership. An implementation period is fine. Transition period is not. The Prime Minister, who I fully support, has been very careful to say an implementation period. I but do she not just think uses the language you know is going to appeal to you. No, she and doesn't. business just hears transition yeah, arrangement. Right. They don't make any well, distinction at all. It, it? It's very important to focus on the details. The Prime Minister is a person of great precision. She doesn't use language loosely. And she has invariably said implementation, and she has said that we will leave on the 29th of March okay. 2019. And I fully support her position. Right. I mean, I, I wonder whether wh how you interpreted Nigel Farage's comments on a second, a second referendum, because that again was seen by some as a kind of a sign of nervousness on the Brexit side, that it's just slipping away, potentially. Um, I d don't know why Mr Farage decided to say he wanted a second referendum. One of the really interesting things about polling on this at the moment is that people are broadly unchanged from where they were in the referendum. But on the question, do you want another referendum, everyone in this country is Brenda from Bristol. <laughs> there is no appetite for another referendum. And as it happens, I think there would be real anger if there were a second one, because we're not one of those smaller EU states that when we vote to give the answer that the EU doesn't like, get told to vote again and again until we do as we're told, like good little boys. And therefore, I think if there were a second referendum, you would see considerable popular discontent. You're now running the ERG, the European Reform Group. It's about 60 Tory MPs on the, the more Brexit side, the Brexit side, let's say. Are you going to hold the government's feet to the fire on all the things we've been talking about? The government's determination to go for a clear Brexit rather than a slightly messier, softer one? Um, the ERG is a group of like-minded members of Parliament and it provides research to help us with work uh, on European issues. Um, I am very keen to help the government achieve the policy that it set out and that the Prime Minister set out particularly in the Lancaster House speech. Uh, and to encourage a vigorous implementation of that policy. The government has my personal complete support in doing that. Jacob Rees-Mogg, thanks very much. Thank you very much.